Crimson Dragon. Hi, Patrick. Hello, Hello. Patrick. Uh, this is <laughs> like Logo Cycle, a game that was supposed to come out on Xbox 360. Yeah, like two, three years ago. Uh, Grounded. But who could possibly imagine yes. what might have taken so long to get this game? Uh huh. Finished. They might have needed some hell. So long. Oh, oh. oh that explains it. Turn this garbage <laughs> off. I uh, better plug that connect oh, back in. Yuck. Xbox snap off. <laughs> snap, unsnap Iron Galaxy. Xbox self destruct. <laughs> Xbox go to Wrecketeer. <laughs> uh. So this game was originally, uh, yeah, it's literally supposed to come out like. Two years ago, full-on Kinect, no controller thing. They were all out doing the full-on. It, it was when they announced like the that horror game that yeah. Tim Schafer was doing a voice for. It was like that was part yep. of that TGS, and, right? And Diabol Diabolical Pitch, yeah. and like all those weird Japanese Kinect games. Did all that stuff come out? Uh, yeah, I think this yeah. is the last one. Yes. Haunt was the haunting, the, the horror game, right? Yeah, yeah. that was main Japan, but, but Schaefer did the voice. Yeah, did Diabolical Pitch come? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Like I think it was like, down low. Like, yeah, like, they a all year, were, like a year and a half ago. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now it is now it is on Xbox One. Still downloadable. <laughs> Thanks to Iron Galaxy, uh, and it is uh, you can do Connect stuff, but I have not touched it. Uh, it, it is a purely voice commands that seem uh, superfluous and. Really? Uh, and and uh, doing uh, leaning. like barrel leaning. rolls and stuff like that that you have to really exaggerate barrel roll. Uh, your movement. So thank you. Is is it available on 360? No. Okay. Exclusively on Xbox One. Exclusively on Xbox One. Um, it look it looks Fe nice. Feed your dragon. Feed your dragon. Feed your dragon. It doesn't really feature look dragon. like anything. Yo man, you gotta feed your dragon. Feed that dragon. Uh, okay. I'll give it some seed. You feed him I'm an gonna experience give this, seed. I'm gonna give dragon some speed. 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 Dragon, speed. Dragons on speed. 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 Sounds like a. Uh, so they, so the, your dragons uh, gain experience in levels. Uh, you can also use items uh, to do that stuff. Do you get to pick a dragon? Yeah. So let's see. Uh, so I have two dragons right now. Uh, I started out with uh, Bloodskin Smolder, who's okay. a uh, fire dragon. Um, I unlocked uh, Dark Shoulder Chaos, who is a, I guess, dark elemental. Dark Shoulder Breeze, who is a wind elemental. Uh, the the, re, the different elements have different powers. Uh, you can have your dragons it learn different too. powers. So you'll see this, you know, learn. And then how do you train your dragon? <laughs> I don't. You, you make them. There's a Jeff. Yeah, Jeff, 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 right Jeff there's an instructional film that I have for you. Really? Yeah. They, they, All so right. I have, I have a film strip. I'll set up the projector yeah. after this. Let's see it. Uh, so, you, so you can give your your dragons their affinity, uh, but you can also uh, give them attacks that uh, are different affinities. This is um, this is way more complicated than I expected out of this game. I thought it was just a shooter. You can also you can also change the affinity uh, of your dragon if you'd like to. Um, you can evolve them. Ooh. Wait a, wait a minute. Is this game Pokemon? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, yeah. The, you have some elements of that in a pretty limited capacity. Um, so I've been using this wind one. So like for example, what, uh, is your text getting blurrier at the oh. bottom there as we go? Do that. Uh, I haven't noticed that. Okay. So I'll go into like confirm mission. back, confirm and back. Those are just in a bad just, place. It's I, yeah, those are just th those colors are a bad. They should have something around the, that text you could see. Need a little drop shadow on those things. Something. Uh, so you see, like the when you get to the different stages, um, they show you the enemies that are in there, and so you'll want to pick uh, if you want to you know give yourself an advantage, uh, pick dragons that are. The opposite affinity. So you know, if you are going into a fire stage, like maybe you want a wind dragon, uh, and then you can also hire wingmen. I would want uh, an to, ice dragon. I don't know what I would, this wind dragon. That's I, what I, would I have say. not encountered an ice dragon yet. I'm not sure if that is uh, an affinity. If there is no ice dragon in this, yes. Yeah. Then what? What are you gonna what do? What would you do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna be pretty sad. So the the wingmen uh, that you ice can dragons. hire are pull are pulled. Oh, I'm much. We're not connected to Xbox Live, are we? But yeah, okay, it pulls from your friend. It, I guess it won't matter. It's probably just your friend's list. Uh, but it pulls in, you know, so we got like Justin McElroy. They're, oh. These are their primary dragons? So you can like borrow I don't know if it, if it's their dragons Ooh, or... We gotta pay for them. Yeah, there are some free-to-play sort of element things going on in this game. But this game uh, is not free-to-play. It is $20. You can grind it out. You can grind everything out in this game. There's a lot of grinding that happens. But can you Xbox shop? For credit? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go into that. So let's let's play Xbox, a mission. Micro and then, uh, yeah, I want to see what this looks like. Uh, so you have these. I don't know how you pronounce it. Ampule. Ampule. 
ampule? Is that, sure. a, is that a term? Yeah, it's a little yeah. vial. Uh, these basically just give you like various um, life in mind plus. <laughs> sort of amps up certain <laughs> elements of your of your dragon. Uh, all right, so I'll, we'll just jump in. That's the name of the new world music side project I'm starting with, Inya. Ampule? You and Ampule, Life and Mind Plus. Life and Mind Plus. That's pretty with good, With your actually. hit record, Ampule. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <it>, Enya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Over and over. Aww. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So humanity has, like, this is a different planet. I'm not, I... <laughs> The story is weird. No, uh, this but is Detroit, right? <laughs> New Detroit. Harsh. <laughs> this is this is old Canada. What is uh? Just dual joystick in it? Uh, yeah. So uh, left analog stick moves your dragon around. Right analog stick moves the the reticle. Uh, is there... uh, oh, the so you you have like free control of the dra over the dragon? It's not I just no. a set track. Okay. It is a set track. There, are, I have not encountered the stages where you have free reign to move around, uh, but those are pretty limited. Oh. Uh, the second uh, weapon I've got uh, is called Vision Breeze. Like you kind of line these things up, and it uh, shoots. Uh, in so all these turns are happening on yep. rails. Yeah. You, you have some do you, do you, limited. Is it like to is it like Panzer Dragon? Like, can you hit the top triggers no. to do like full ninety degree rotations no. and, and stuff? And that sucks. Uh, uh, it's, it, I don't know why they took that out because can what you shoot happens behind is you. How, how much can you rotate? You, you can. You can go all the way. You can. Uh, okay, go, you yeah. can no, you can't go oh, all the way. Okay, all right. You, you can go get most a of the decent way. amount. Well, I guess I guess yes, you can. But yeah. so the game is constantly whipping you around. Like the camera angle is pretty dynamic. Uh, and that becomes uh, really problematic uh, when you are like, you're like, you know, I'm here, okay, I'm taking out this guy, I got this, I got this. And then the game, like, to be more dramatic, is whipping you around and uh, you just cannot quite keep up in a way. You have to, like, uh, kind of feels... follow the camera and. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah, in, a way, yeah. in a way that's not right. that satisfying. I don't, I wish the game had that Panzer Dragoon. Like, I, so if you tap the left button and uh, right button, you know, you're, you're barrel rolling, you can do that with the Kinect by kind of moving your head around. Um, I wish if I double tapped, I could I could whip the the camera ang uh, angle around. Yeah. Uh, I understand that it's like you know on a track that's you know part of a Panzer Dragoon game, but uh, it's pretty frustrating for your dragons are slow. Uh, you can up the agility or have dragons that are more agility focused, but, but upgrading then you dragons have to give life in mind. So no <laughs> upgrading you. dragons takes a long ass time. Can I pay my way into upgrading? You can, Vinny Carvella. We'll, we'll get into the store stuff a little bit after this. Uh, so there are sub objectives, uh, and you're, you're ranked on those. If you can complete those, uh, you will get more credits, you will get more drops. Uh, there are, are drops in the game that allow you to evolve your dragon, uh, that allow you to equip different things on How them. How heavy and sick are the drops? Are they hats? Do they drop hats? They don't drop hats. Oh. They drop beats? I, I've got another In game. your mind. Let's go play. Uh, it's weird, like, what are you doing Dude. here? Because because the music makes this thing seem very not pressing, like, no sense of, are you just taking a tour? Also, like, is there no sound effect on your projectile? There is, it's just, it's just quiet. Oh, shoot some. Like, you can hear yeah. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is, uh, good. So if you're able to take out waves of shoot enemies, fish. then you're going to get credits, yeah. uh, and you use credits to... You need to use credits to buy to get yourself into new missions. Uh, missions are gated by credits. Uh, really? Wow. So if you are pushing through the game with one particular dragon, um, I have not encountered it yet, but basically all the reviews have suggested that you'll kind of run into what feels like sort of like energy bar or free-to-play gating oh. uh, in a way that's kind of gross, but... Uh, the people that seem to be running into that were sticking to one dragon, and the game really wants you to experiment with different dragons, and I, like the different abilities you can have are pretty dramatic in terms of how you can take out sets of enemies. Uh, so it's possible that, you know, if, as long if you're, t if you're engaging with other dragons, you may not run into that credit stuff. Um, nearly but, as much. but I have not played enough to you know to really say one way or the but other. But you're replaying the same level with a different dragon. There, are, yeah, it sounds like there are only really like eight missions, um, and then you're going into them with that different dragons. That seems like a decent number for yeah. Depending on how long the missions are, eight doesn't sound. The, eight sounds like about as much as I would want before going like, all right, I totally don't want to play any more of this. But it's you know it's, it's, they, it's different because them. you're yeah you're being it's not like uh, like an Orda. Well, I guess Orda had you were training dragons and, and switching between them. Uh, you're going to these missions 
or these stages a lot, over and over again. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I've played about like three hours and it hasn't really bothered me, but I could see how, especially if you're trying to grind out uh, a bunch of different dragons that you have to go to the earlier missions because they're easier right? Uh, in order to, to bring them up uh, yeah. if you want to do it without getting into paying for it. Uh, there's also two difficulty modes. There is a, I don't know what it's called. I, I have classic. Uh, which is sort of what it assigns you to normally. And basically by playing on a harder difficulty mode, you get uh, more stuff, more, more experience. What are these player levels and dragon levels? Are two separate things? Yes, you need to upgrade your player level in order to unlock uh, different sets of dragons. It'll all show you in the How do you train your player? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's a deep, dark secret. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see, I'll, I'll go into the store. Take down your pants, that's step one. There's also a... It's an HR uh, violation, don't, do not... You can't legally ask him hey to man, do that. Hey man, do you want to train your player or not? <laughs> Going to the bathroom, train the player. There's a mobile game. So we want a promotion or? Oh, that's right, yeah, there's a. <laughs> the difference between training your player and a player train. <laughs> so, keep that in mind. So you can buy item packs that is kind of similar to some of the stuff we've been seeing. Ace know, like Rider! In, in, Ma in Mass Effect and, and stuff like that, where you can. Pay with jewels. So jewels are a different currency. <laughs> I don't... Pay with credits. Pay with jewels. Like, I'm earning jewels, but I don't know how... Go up to buy. You only have 15 of those. Yeah. Well, jewel, maybe jewels are the thing you buy with so real I could, money, right? So, uh, so maybe I'll buy a golden dragon pack in a second. But so you can also buy dragons, uh, but those are gated uh, by uh, the, the level of the player. Golden mohawk smolder. That text is hard to read for me. The red is a on little the, the weird. On the dragon the stuff? Required player, player level eight. Yeah, and that's hard for me to read, too. Oh, wait, where does it say that? <laughs> yeah. On the right-hand side, above <laughs> pay with credits. Shit, yeah, you're right. I don't see that. Okay, yes, it looks like Transformers tech specs over there. Like, give me the little red little plastic, right and <laughs> then... Um, so, so, yeah, so they have the other ones you can buy, but you have to, to wait to do that. Um, you can buy revival gems. Revival gems are basically in the middle of... Hot, Dang, bundle, man. hot bundle deal! Yep. God, dude. What else can you buy, Patrick? Dude, video games. Yeah, and and is... you can... Ugh. Uh, so, you know, I, th I may be mistaken, but I, w I was trying to read up on all this stuff because I, like, you start to realize how this stuff gets weirder as you run up against the gates, and I just haven't quite run up against them, but I believe that jewels you can only acquire either through earning metals or purchasing them, um, and credits you can just grind through over and over again. Mm. Uh, but revival gems are basically like in the middle of uh, a mission if you die, you can use uh, a revival the, gem. Show me yep. the store. Show me where you pay the real money. Buy jewels. Yeah, buy jewel. Wait, jewel? Yeah. She's, she's yeah. married, dude. What? She's married to that radio guy. So let's see, if I wanted to buy 45. DJ also, Tamika? So you can't buy a person, I don't, man. What the hell? Wait. I need it's, to go. <laughs> so it says, you serious about are this? you sure you want to buy these? But it's not telling me what it. Yeah, you're sure. You you're ab okay. absolutely sure. You're positive, which is bought like $80. Yeah, now it's going to show the last four digits of your credit card. No, oh, maybe not. No, not okay. yet. Uh, secret Jewel Pack, $1.99. You'll be charged immediately. Oh, you, you haven't no gone refunds. through the no. uh, the Microsoft Point to real money transition yet. No. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't realize I, they they even would do that on Xbox One. I figured it would just... I haven't, yeah, I haven't touched Wait, how can you tell I'm going to cancel. Because it said you need to go through a one-time transfer. Oh, well, that's, to, that's what that was. Yeah. Weird. Huh. Let's see what 45 costs. I mean, this this game costs oh. twenty dollars, and like it's this stuff's a little weird. Again, I haven't run up against the gates myself, but everyone else that has played this game has, to completion, has talked about that being. But I also don't know, you know, I feel like that also is one of those things that maybe comes up a little bit more if you are reviewing a game and just trying to get to the end. But uh, that is that is me projecting. Uh, so let's uh, let's buy this golden dragon pack. <sighs> Are they randomized items? Generating yeah. items. Yeah. Okay. So, so like the, I believe the, oh, like man. A, a lot of the rare Life items. Mine, triple plus, 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 plus. <laughs> win, win buy again. So a I did, plus <laughs> user. So I did get the emo t-shirts. Plus, plus, plus. So I got breeze items, which are applicable to the, it does that save thing every time you come into this menu. Um, with the dragon I've got now. So. Eat my dragon. Hi, well, you can also sell this stuff if you just you, like you don't have any reason to, to keep it around. It 
Let's see, so I got two breezes, which are applicable to my wind guy. Uh, Learn that hard on Wind attribute on shots that blow through enemies. Wind attribute vision attack that does more damage the longer it's sustained. Can track one target. I've liked this one. And do you get your other one back, or? You can... I'll show you. Like, yeah, what, is, is there like a way to configure what you have equipped after you've learned it? Yeah, so you have a primary skill and then a secondary skill. Uh, these uh, you can uh, pick between. Mm. Um, and so, you know, you can kind of like skill out your dragon and then try and compensate for, like if you really want to stick with your one guy, you don't want to deal with grinding, you can stick with him and then focus on having wingmen uh, that, that sort of compensate for uh, sort of the difficulty curve you might encounter in. You know, if you go into a fire stage with a fire guy, uh, that's going to be arbitrarily more difficult because you are just not. How sort do they of manifest that difficulty? Does it take more shots to kill something? Do you take more damage? Like, what's the. So, like, like the, it seems like the big difference between a classic and easy is just way more shit on the screen that you have to avoid. Um, and we'll, we can just try and jump into a super more difficult stage with my guy. I don't think this game looks great. Like, the dragon it looks, looks okay. kind of rough. It looks well, okay. Well, you know where it came from. That's right, dark shoulder breeze. I think you look kind of messed up. Oh. So, in, so in addition, in addition to some missions the having monster underground. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, sort Buy of some uh, bootleg monsters, dude. This city has a monster underground <laughs> scene, man. You're really gonna dig it. I love urban exploration in the monster underground. So you'll have like uh, like credit gates, and then also antibody gates. So you'll need to have like because there's this virus that is spiraling throughout the world. You'll, you might need to go back, grind for these specific items in order to make sure you can go into, uh, mm. into the stage. I've kind of lost the thread yeah, with what dude, you're saying. I, the, every I know. single, I know. <laughs> every single thing you've said about how they gate access to stuff makes me never want to play this game. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. I, again, yep. like I'm more just explaining the concepts yep. yeah. than, than yep. I have run into them, but I don't blame people for looking at this stuff and just kind of throwing up their hands and going. You're charging me twenty dollars, and then also I have to On deal with this, this bullshit. Yeah. I feel like there's more like if the option was pay twenty dollars, or all pay this stuff nothing. is gone, or pay nothing, and then engage with uh, a lot of this stuff. More polygons, less text. Still coming up short on dragons for our new rider. Uh, okay, let's just we'll just start it. Maybe I'll pick my other dragon. But you just put all that stuff on that dragon. Ah, but this guy is way more. Okay. You're out, dragon. You're in. Hi. All right. Oh, my posture. This blood skin smolder's looking a little rotten, too. <laughs> I don't think it's... The dragons don't have a lot of personality, and, you know, the the, the idea that you're sort of... Because, like, the, the idea is in this world, this virus goes around, it eradicates most people, but some people it unlocks an affinity uh, to ride dragons. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> were, there, were there dragons before the virus? Yes. Okay, but people couldn't ride them? Correct. Um... Some people got a really bad cold. How <laughs> yeah, now I can ride a dragon. But but so they set up this whole like idea that you're gonna have this, you know, intimate relationship with the dragons, uh -huh, but I, I, right. I don't Yeah. Yeah. You know, you've got your experience seed. You can uh -huh. train um, that dragon. And you tr you train him with your experience seed. Oh, that's well. This music is so weird. How about like a Ren Fair riding a dragon? That makes perfect sense, what you just said. How about a Ren Fair riding a dragon? Eating a big chicken leg. <laughs> I forgot to bring my wingman in. So you, when, when you bring your wingman, uh, oh, there he is, leg. there he is. Okay, chicken oh, turkey. No, that's oh, not man. Him. Oh man, now I want a turkey leg. Uh, you can, you have like two options with your wingman. You can bring them to the front, or you can bring them to the back. Um, so you kind of need to be adjusting that based on uh, where the enemies are. This, this whole stage doesn't look especially excellent. I don't think. It looks okay. I like the art direction, but it's not, you know, it's yeah. not overly impressive. Main, mainly the trees, just like these kind of like static poster board leaf yeah. decals. But what I find is because of the way the camera whips around, uh, you just are like constantly just barrel rolling to get out of the way of things, kind of like hitting fire and, and hoping you can get through as much as you can. Because the game, except for some very rare occasions, doesn't stop you uh, in order to progress. Uh, by defeating enemies, you are mostly just rewarded if you can get them all off the screen. Yeah. Uh, instead, uh, you there, it's, it's very rare occasions where they'll like straight up stop you and say, hey, beat these guys before you progress. Uh, you're mostly just rewarded if you can get them off the screen. So, you know, it, it's not different than the on-rails element that has been right. a part of this series in the past. Um, 
Well, not this series. It's, I mean. Well, I know. It's, it's, you know, a spiritual. It, it might as well be. You know, this might as well be a new Panzer Dragoon, even if it's not called. Man, you know, I hope that. not. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope a new Panzer Dragoon would be better than this. It's the same guy. Yeah, um, I know. But God damn it. What are you fighting? What is that thing? No, it's aliens. I think I think I would have preferred a linear progression of eight stages with a single dragon and none of the RPG stuff to what's in. So the RPG stuff is an Orta though too. So don't forget. I know. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying. New. I'm just saying if it were if it were an either or. I'm just I'm just saying I, I feel it is handled poorly in this new marketplace of ideas of how we exchange currency. Uh, it's it's really easy for that stuff to. To get a little gross it's, and it's run amok is what I'm saying. It's like I would rather they strip it out than have it in its present form. So what I wish there was was a, a more of an ability to have your other dragons passively upgrade. So like you hire wingmen, but your wingmen are not your dragons. I wish you could actually bring in your other dragons and they would fight alongside you on right. other wingmen yeah. so that you're simultaneously upgrading. You're basically expediting the grinding process. Uh, like expedite like grinding is part of the game. You're doing sub objectives like it, it hasn't bothered me too much, uh, but uh, it's really easy to see how it would get uh, gross really fast. Um, so, you know, these are sections where they're timing your ability to uh, to try and take out the enemies, and if you you do it, then you get, you know, drops, and you get uh, additional experience, or not experience, but, but currency. Um, it seems all right, like, I, I am enjoying it, um, but it does seem like a poor man's new Panzer Dragoon, where a lot of the enjoyment is that it's got that it's got some of this stuff. You're painting the targets now. You're just yeah. Kind of, are uh, there yeah. giant segmented flying centipedes or anything that blow up section by section after you destroy them? Not that I have seen so far. Hmm. And so then you're coming to these stages where you're kind of clearly underpowered, and it's like, well, I, I'm kind of just gonna make my way through this section, but I obviously can't beat them. I need to come back later. Uh, when my dragons are either more powered up, or I need uh, one that has a better affinity uh, against them, and or if you have a wingman, um, it's got a lot of really interesting ideas that I just think aren't fleshed out enough uh, and are constrained maybe by it being a $20 downloadable. But assumingly, this would have been a retail game on 360, so I don't know. Congratulations! I guess You're an I'm, antibody archivist. I guess I'm mostly just a little bummed out because um, yeah. it's got just enough that you're like. Yeah, and then you get you kind of scratch a you're little. You're a seeker lieutenant. You scratch a little deeper, and it's just not not quite what you want it you start uh, to bleeding. be. Um, Don't scratch too deep. All right. But yeah. Okay. So see now I can I can go buy another guy, um, but I those guys get really expensive. So chain star don't have enough credits, which means then I need to go back to some previous stages. Um, with some other dragons. At least the currency is not you know tied to your specific dragon. So that's, you know, that's just player base, but yeah, a little disappointed, uh, especially given for how long this game has taken. You know, I can't right. help but start, you know, idle speculation that this game was awfully hindered by the way Microsoft kind of jerked it around. Uh, that, that certainly could have, could not have helped. Like, is it connect? Is it not connect? Is what I feel like, platform is it on? Yeah, like the controls just don't feel very snappy and Oh, you know, part of that is getting rid of the ability to kind of spin your dragon around. Like that's yeah. like allows you to be snappy in the environment uh, in a way that uh, you can't be in Crimson Dragon. Um, so you know, you got your inventory. You can go through the stuff you got. You can go to the shop. You can you can sell items that you don't need because maybe you're not going to learn smolder. Yeah, but now, so like for example, like I've spent all of those jewels. I can get jewels by acquiring m metals. But once you've acquired metals. There are no other ways to acquire the jewels. Right. So then you need to start spending money yeah. unless you want to just grind credits. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of that stuff in here, and you know, again, I can't really speak to I'm gonna, I'm gonna how much you run into it, but I'm going to echo what he said. Yeah. I do like playing it. Uh, I, I have enjoyed it. I will probably continue to play it. Uh, mm -hmm. It does sound like you can continue to play the same dragon all the way through. Uh, you'll just sort of run into some difficulty spikes that you might have to compensate with a with a wingman, but you know. Why do they need dragons? Because uh, well, uh, all the, you know. the humans are powerless against the other. The humans kind of seem like dicks in this game. <laughs> like they could just leave, but they so when the humans are killed, they just go out and put down the dragons. There's a mission where you just go put down a bunch of dragons because yeah. the humans are no longer riding them. Really? Yeah. 
I think if I can find. You should only get your dragon from the pound. Let me or, see if I can uh, find. Like a rescue? Yeah, like a rescue yeah. dragon. No, go, don't go to the dragon mills. Just, they just. Like, yeah, don't you know, buy from a breeder. Pedigree dragons. No, it doesn't come up with the. Do not go to Petco, whatever you do. Hip problems and some dragons are deaf. Yeah. A dragon, its rider, are bounder for life. If a dragon loses its rider, it goes berserk. <laughs> you need to go out and put them what down. What if a rider loses a dragon? Do they put down the human? I don't know. Dragon meat rider. <laughs> are you. Uh huh. Continue. I'm trying to phrase my words carefully here. Really gonna keep playing this? Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best I, I can. It's got it's got enough of man. Just the Panzers or Goonies stuff that I about, like. Nothing about this is speaking to me. Totally. Even the even the core just lock on shooters. Yeah. I, I have definitely enjoyed some Panzer Dragoon and these type of lock on shooters. You know, res and that sort of stuff. Uh, no, just yeah. But nothing man. is. I, I'm sorry. Just, just nothing about this game is afterburner. Uh, like, I don't I, know if I'd quite say after burgers. Hey, it's, bef it's before they came up with the idea of letting you rotate. Yeah. Where you very much lock on well, targets you, and just slam yeah, the button. But it's not all you do. It is not all you do. Planet Harriers? Planet Harrier? Like, there's something about this that just seems like. It's a, it's a poor version of a new Panzer Dragoon, but I, I like those games so much that, I, you know, I've started this, I, you know. It's a reason to keep playing, you know, some games on my Xbox. But in terms of recommending it to people, I feel like this is, you know, I hate the term like, you know, genre enthusiasts only need apply. But I think like it, you have to be pretty into Panzer Dragoon uh, to to want to sort of put up with some of the stuff that's here. Uh, I'm curious to see if people will find ways to sort of break the game in ways that maybe you don't have to put up with as much of the uh, the gating stuff. But it's like, yeah, you know, the, the way the I am curious to see how many games they potentially ruin with some of this free-to-play stuff they start incorporating, especially when you're talking about paid games. I don't think it ruins this game, but it taints it in a way that makes There's you feel There's definitely gross. been some, you know, there are a handful of Xbox One games specifically that have, like, currency transactions in them. And, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an unsettling trend, definitely. It needs to be handled carefully, yeah. and, and I don't think it's explained very well in here, and I wouldn't blame people f when they look at it just going, throwing up their hands, especially when the game itself, you know, does not seem uh, spectacular by, right. any, by any means, that, you know, you're being asked to put up with a lot, especially for a game that you're then paying $20 for. Um, you know, mostly it's just a bummer, because who, who the hell wouldn't want, like, a brand new Panzer totally. Dragoon, yeah. you know, at launch for a new machine? Mm. So, you know, any items you've collected, you will lose if you choose to quit, as opposed to using uh, a Revival Gem, but... Uh, yeah, that's, that's Crimson Dragon. You know, I'd like to just go ahead and blame Iron Galaxy for this, but I, I feel like, unfortunately, I feel like that would be disingenuous as much as I want to do it. No, I think you can go ahead and do that. Okay. I'll hey, allow it. Dude. Joseph Jabroni on, on Twitter, right? That's the yes. name? Joseph J. Bron yeah, go. <laughs> got any complaints so or... You know where to target it. That's right. Um, or praise. Or praise. Yeah. That's Crimson Dragon. Uh, it is it is a launch title. You can you can play it now, but your mileage may vary. Well, not right now. Not right now. Yeah. Soon. Oh, that's right. Play this it week. on launch day. Yeah, we can play it now. I can go and play it right now. But you're not gonna. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you.